All right, so today we're going to take a look at the AWS CDK examples in their GitHub repository. So it's basically a set of example projects for the AWS Cloud Development Kit. And I've chosen Python, and I'm just going to take a look at the EC2 instance deployment. So it has a VPC with a public subnet, has Amazon Linux 2, and instead of using SSH, we use SSM, and then we can also install packages with a shell script. So the first thing you want to do, and I have cloned this repo in Visual Studio Code, and I went to the Python EC2 instance directory. First thing you want to do is bootstrap the environment for CDK. Then you can run CDK Synthesize, which will show you the cloud formation that's coming out of the CDK. So if I didn't use CDK, I would have to write this cloud formation essentially to do what I want it to do. So CDK can kind of be seen as a wrapper for cloud formation, but it, in my view, makes it a lot simpler than having to write plain uh, cloud, cloud formation from scratch. So these are all of the components within the stack that we will see once we deploy this and then go over to CloudFormation. So let's go ahead and deploy it. This takes, this took about 190 seconds, but I'm speeding it up for the sake of this video. Um, so we just say that we want to deploy the changes and then we wait for um, the stack to be published and created. So you could go to the AWS console and view the CloudFormation stack as, as it progresses. Um, and again, I'm speeding this video up takes about 190 seconds for this stack to be deployed. So now that it's deployed, we can go back to the AWS console and take a look at the stack. So there's the stack, and it's now complete, and we can see all the events coming from CDK for the creation of it. So we have everything that we would expect here for a VPC, the ability to SSM, the actual instance profile, um, which has a security group as well, and the instance itself, which we will use for the SSM connection. So we will start the session and supply the SSM, sorry, supply the uh, instance ID to SSM. And now, we're, now we have a shell. So I'll get a root shell and then run HTOP because HTOP is something that I installed via configure.sh, which is a nice way to install anything that you need to install from this CDK. So we can go take a look at the instance itself. We can see it's a T3 Nano, Amazon Linux, and a GP2 um, volume. Eight gigs is the size. So this is a very inexpensive instance, but um, once again, very simple way to deploy instances in AWS using CDK. So if we want to get rid of this, we just type CDK destroy and also, I've sped up this process for the sake of the video, but this is how you destroy everything in the stack. So now that it's destroyed, we can go back to the console, refresh. We see that the instance has been terminated. And if we go to CloudFormation, the stack has also been terminated from the list. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Very simple way to use AWS CDK. Feel free to contact me if you have questions, and thanks for watching.